My name is Hampton Martin. Uh, I don't know if I really have a title. I just kind of like to do a lot of different things. It's kind of like a culmination of like multiple things to get me to like into punk music. It was one of those things that when I found it, I was like, punk music, this is like, this is it. And it definitely felt like I, I found it and it, everything just clicked. When I was like 13 or 14, all of my friends started playing guitar. And I was like, well, I don't want to be, I don't want to be left out. But I also didn't want to just play guitar. They were already better than me than I could ever be. And I was like, I'm going to play bass. So what I picked up, I bought a bass and like just started playing it every single day. Me and my friends would just like after school, just like sit around and just plug into our terrible little amps and just turn up as loud as we could and just make racket for hours and hours. I was in the 10th, 11th grade, 2006, 2007. It's been so long. And me and my cousin were like, let's start a band. And we somehow, I don't know how, we acquired a drum set from who knows where and just started practicing in his room and just found two other just like random kids we knew at school. And we're like, come on over. We're going to like start a punk band. And they were, they were super down for it. I was doing vocals for this band. It was called Social Control. It was a name that I, out of my sociology textbook, there was just a phrase, social control, and it was one of those things I was like, that is a punk band name if I've ever heard it. There was a, a venue in town, a DIY venue called The Bomb Shelter, that I think was just like an old abandoned gas station that someone acquired. I don't know. It was sketchy. But it was our last show, and I we called up the person booking the show, and we were like, hey, I know you don't know us, but our band's social control. Can we play that show? Can that be our first gig? They said, sure. And we eventually got to the day of the gig, our car broke down on the way of the gig. It was some real classic like hijinks of like, we're lost in downtown Jackson. Our car's broken down. We're gonna be late to our first show. We were freaking out. Luckily someone came and picked us up. We like arrived to the venue like truly fashionable late. We like pulled up and everyone started applauding at us being like, oh, thanks for showing up to your gig. It was real silly. But we played and like people went crazy. And that was like our first like performance, like my first performance and everyone else in the band as like a punk band. It was really validating, you know? It was really freeing and I don't know, ever since then it's been non-stop at this point. It's more than like a genre of music. And even like if you look at the musical side to it itself, it's like I can say this band's a punk band and you know, this band over here is a punk band and they'll sound nothing alike. But you just know. I feel like you can just like look at a band and be like, you can tell. It's not all about the music. It's about like the people and the places and like your thought process and your ideas and all that. And like the music is there as like a backdrop. I don't think it's going anywhere. Once again, it's been here for 40 years at this point, 50, I don't know. Uh, and it's always, it's always remained and it's always like changing and evolving. So like, I don't know. If I knew where it was going, I would, I would tell you, or I, I would make a band that sounds like the next big thing maybe, but who knows? It's going to be some bored kids in a living room in like, you know, the Midwest and the suburbs and like, they're going to be the ones that pioneer like the next like kind of like cool wave of punk bands. That's just always how it is. It's always, it's always the youth who aren't influenced by anyone else doing their own thing and that becomes like the new norm. I try not to worry, and I try not to tell the future, because I feel like that's a great way to fucking egg on your face, look like a jackass later on, but like, I've been doing this for half my life at this point. I'm only 30, but like, half my life I've been doing punk shit or going to shows, like, you know, fixated with this, like, this music and this lifestyle and trying to, like, learn more and learn more about bands and collect music, so like, I can't see myself stopping. I might slow down. I might, you know, stop releasing music for bands or stop going to shows, but like, I don't know. I don't know if like the the mindset or like the ideas that I have come across and the people I've met and just like my belief system, like, I don't know if that's ever going to change or like revert. I think it'll keep growing and changing and being challenged, but I don't know if I'm ever going to 
say like I don't I don't fuck with punk anymore. I feel like unless I don't know. My shit might happen tomorrow where I'm like, this shit sucks, I'm out, I'm only I dubstep rules, you know, but I don't, I don't see that happening. But I'm not gonna I'm not gonna place money on that, but hopefully for life.